Hey guys, welcome back. As always, Burly Gamer here. Uh, last time we left off, we had just finished our second game, uh, Big Guns on the Moon, the UFO action game. It actually is doing really, really well. Um, really excited about it. We've made, I think, somewhere around $150,000 profit on this. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Probably about $100,000 profit on this game. Um, which is a heck of a lot better than we did on our first game. Our first game just barely got, I think, was very little, if no profit whatsoever. Um, but this is so much better. We're definitely in a uh, better spot. Um, we also uh, got a new uh, topic last time. It was prison. We've also unlocked a couple more. Um, but we're going to save our research for, for right now, um, our points at least. And actually, I'm gonna look at it. The oh, that's surprising. Okay, so I guess there was the reason why we were so low uh, last time was just the general um, maintenance cost of, of running the company. We're it's a nice increase from a, a five to a seven, and this has done a heck of a lot better. It's not even off the shelves yet, and it's it's a heck of a lot better. Um, well, we're going to jump right into our next game, and let us see, we're going to do a prison simulation game on the uh, G64, and um, it's going to be called... Uh, prison builder. <laughs> because there's a very popular game um, that I've played a couple times, actually quite a bit, that you can build your own prison. So this would be fairly appropriate. Um, I'm going to do 2D graphics. Okay, so it just went off the market, and overall it generated $195,650 in sales. Just shy, a little, only a little bit shy of uh, 30,000 units total, which is amazing, especially for a second game. So, uh, with the sim uh, simulation, the gameplay is sort of important. I guess story and quests are sort of also important. Well, maybe not quite as much. Probably gameplay, I guess. Um, just from playing a couple, I've, I've, like I said, I've played the the prison builder game. Um, level design, uh, not. I guess more important than dialogues artificial and artificial intelligence so probably a lot more important so I'm gonna go like that um, just because again I'm trying to draw from real life experiences to because it it mimics real life patterns and trends and things like that uh, world design graphics t t sound um, we're gonna go a little bit like that, maybe a little uh, right around there. I'm, I'm. I don't think sound is quite important for a simulation. Um, graphics, I think, are, in world design, a little less than graphics. So I think that's probably appropriate. Yeah. So they're asking for an interview, um, and. So they. Were, uh, oh. Okay. I thought you were supposed to actually answer something. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and wow, that's. I don't remember us having quite as many fans as that. <laughs> Although I, I might not have looked, I, I can't even remember. Um, but it's it's awesome that we're already generating hype on our third game. A lot of bugs, we got to work them out. This is kind of disappointing. Okay, so the TES just launched. 
I'm, that was really popular for with platformers, and we don't even have that option available. So I'm just gonna stay away from that and stick toward the um, the computer games for right now. Um, and I think that's gonna be it. We don't want to lose too much hype. Not great. New topic, new combo. Leveled up on gameplay, level design, almost leveled up our character. And while we... oh no wait, we have to wait for the reviews to come in. Reviews are in. Oh no, it's gonna be a bad one again. Oh no, okay, seven. For a second there I thought that was gonna be a ten. Not gonna lie. Seven? Come on. Seven at least. Okay, a flat seven. Okay. Another seven, and we're going to generate the game report. See why we okay, that only cost us fifty-four thousand dollars. Also starting off great. Almost ten thousand dollars in the or oh, sorry, ten thousand units in the first week. I just Oh, so okay, we unlocked contract work. Not ah, nice. <clears throat> and that gibberish was me reading it. <laughs> Prison simulation, great combination. Platform G sixty uh, four simulation, good. Uh, dialogue seemed to be not important. Important, and I, I'm almost positive that I kept that really low. Um, this is going to crack thirty thousand easy. Um, um, we are. We have got a, quite a bit of research. We're going to research. Um, Cyberpunk. Research that. Well, I, uh, they're going to prove me wrong. It's going to fall short. Although we've made a lot of money on it already. How did we make so much more? So much faster. I don't even understand. <laughs> Alright, we're going to research again. Hunting. That could be kind of cool. Like an arcade type of game. Oh, just get there. 30,000. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Nine more fans. Oh, wow, we're almost at 500 fans already. Hunting. Off the market. It sold a little bit better. I mean, that's like 27,000. Almost exactly 27,000, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, more than the other one, and I think that's like 4,000 more units. I guess that makes sense. Uh, we're going to find some con contract work. Um, as long as there's something that's safe. Whoo, that's not safe. That, yes. That, maybe. Let's see how quickly we do this. And it seems like it's going to do okay. There we go. Okay, that wasn't bad. That was three weeks, and that was eight, and what was it? Like eight and three? Um, and this is a high payout, not much of a penalty. We have 321,000 right now. Let's try this, because we could also we get research off of it as well. And hopefully we can do this. It's already not, not doing too bad. Come on. Kick out those twos. Oh, no. He's not going to get it. He's not going to get it. Oh, no. We lost $7,000. Uh. Massive, massive success. I just, I, I, I'm afraid to do that because I'm, I'm pretty sure you have to pay a license fee for that. Yeah, we lost seven thousand dollars. So um, let's see. Uh, let's do vampire actually. Dance could be good later on once we get casual games unlocked. Because um, a dance casual game, I mean, everyone's everyone knows Dance Dance Revolution. Like that's like one of the most popular casual games like in the planet. 
Um, uh, let's let's see what we can. No, nothing there. We might do surgery or dance later, but we're gonna hold off for now. Let's try and develop a new game. Um, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. let's do. We haven't done an adventure. We could do a cyberpunk adventure on. Let's try. Oh, eighty thousand dollars license. No thanks. Let's try because this is a lot less. This, if this is a failure, could be less. Um, we're gonna name it Neon Lights because that's what I think when I think cyberpunk. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, hopefully it's not bad. 2D graphics, definitely. And gameplay, adventure, I think is definitely... Uh, I think story and quests are important. Same as gameplay. Um, I think. <laughs> and he's confused. He doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't even know what cyberpunk means either. Um, dialogues for adventure, I think, is more important. Level design, AI, not really. Because it's going to be like more story-driven versus like random event-driven. Um, let's do that a little bit higher. <clears throat> so we're pumping out quite a bit of uh, research. Uh, world design for an adventure, I think, is important. Graphics important. Sound sort of important. Little less. Because again, adventure, you're kind of going around looking at things, so the graphics also have to be good. The ambient sound is kind of important, but I just think these are a little bit more important. And the design and tech is really low. If we could target to young gamers, that would be helpful, but... Ah! <laughs> oh, right as I'm finishing a game. Thanks. <laughs> oh, this is really low. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I just want to make sure I'm like at, I don't know, above 300,000 before. I want to get this higher. This is kind of sucky. Give it a couple more seconds. Uh, whoops. Okay. Mass is Okay, so yeah. The Vena. This is, uh, I think it's the Sega. That's, I couldn't think of it for a second. I know it's the, the Sega knock, uh, not knockoff, but mock leveled up story quest dialogues world design blah 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 and we leveled up our character let's see those reviews come on big numbers or low numbers oh god oh I saw like a three uh, just keep it at five don't go low fire no 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 Oh, there's going to be another one that sucks. Oh, at least that's, what? I don't even 3.75? Something like that? Generate game for, for... Wow, I can't math whatsoever. I thought I could. I failed myself. Oh, wow, it's... Oh, oh this is a crash and burn. Thank God we did it on the PC. Okay combination. Gameplay seems to be not very important. What? I, okay, I, I, I guess. I just... Ugh. It's an adventure game. Gameplay is important. That's a random spike. We might get, like, 8,000 sold. That's unlikely, though. Master V... Shut up and go away. Oh, this game sucks. 
Neon lights is a terrible decision. Oh, my lanta. Okay, let's <laughs> let's try and find. Okay, we definitely need to do this so we can target our games to specific audience. Um, that way we can have a better outcome, most likely, because I know the G sixty four and PC are both um, mature uh, audiences. Let's do s surgery. I don't really want to do surgery, but I we need to get more topics, and that'll unlock at least one more topic. Two then unlock. Yeah, that was terrible. That I'm pretty sure that game cost us money. Wow. Wow. That. <laughs> to that is big difference. <laughs> oh god. We did two good games or not good, but decent games back to back. This wasn't even that bad. Uh it's just this was just so bad. So bad. Terrible. Sorry, I failed you, Cyberpunk fans. Okay, surgery is unlocked. Let's see what that then... Evolution? I, what? I don't even know what kind of game you would make with evolution. Alright. Yeah, I know. I can target my game to a specific audience now. I'm well aware of that. So... Vocabulary... What? Simulation? No. No. We we haven't done. I don't. Here, wait, wait. Let's see our game history. We've done an adventure, a simulation, an action, and an RPG. We have not done a strategy game yet. Let us develop a strategy. Uh, I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna do a hunting strategy. I just want to make sure we haven't done hunting. We do prison, UFO, and law. Okay, a hunting strategy. No, that sounds stupid. Uh, did I not click on it? Mouse failures. Okay, we are doing a strategy. A vampire strategy. Horror strategy. That could be entertaining mature for the G64 and let's do survive the night um just because I'm, I don't know, I, I think that's a clever title. <laughs> 2D graphics. Master V's been released. Okay, um... Uh, gameplay for strategy is pretty high. Story and quests, low. Engine, maybe a little higher. Let's see how we do. He's scratching his head. Okay. So level of stage two. Um, AI is probably important. Level design, di dialogue's not quite as important. I think I'm gonna go like that. No, I'm gonna kind of get them closer. Something like that. Yeah, I get it. Master V is out. Good job for you, Master V. Which really sounds weird. Um, world design, graphics, sound. Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm gonna go a little lower. 
I don't think sound is quite as important as these guys. I think that makes more sense. Oh, this could be a terrible one, too. Okay, we're going to give another interview. Apparently, just <laughs> agreeing to the interview is the interview. <laughs> It's nice that we generate some hype, um, and right at the end of the game, so we can uh, kind of wait a second, try and get some extra design and technology out of it without losing too much hype. I think we're going to have to just do that. Ugh, okay. New compic, uh, new topic, new combo, new copic. No uh, high score or whatever they're called. Oh, please don't be terrible. Please don't be terrible. Oh, damn it. It's okay. Please. Seven. We might be able to squeak out like a 6.5. Six. Yeah, we got a 6.5, I think. Right? That's better than the last one. Let's do a game report for the Survive the Night Horror Strategy game. It's not doing bad. I mean, 4,000 units in the first week is not bad at all. Uh, oh, Horror Strategy is a bad combination. That's why. Strategy and Mature are both great combinations on G64. I knew that. I mean but apparently horror strategy is terrible. We should have done a vampire strategy. That's what I was thinking about doing, but... Uh, well. We know now. Let's do some... Let's see if we can... Oh, nice. We have better contract work available. Let's do this one while we're waiting. Casual games. Awesome. So the G64 is about to go off the market, basically. And actually, once we finish this contract work, we are going to call it there. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, my other videos are on screen right now. Links from my Facebook and Twitter are in the description below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.